So for today, we're going to be looking at the Kvostov the Lost Found ornament. Specifically, we're going to be making sets that go well with that ornament. Now, granted, if you know the ornament, you guys will know that it's literally just like a tactical rifle, which most most of you are like, how are you going to make a set with that? And obviously, I'm just going to make all full black on like tactical looks. So th for those of you who are kind of like hoity toity and are like, I'm better than people that wear all black. I'm you're not going to like this video because it literally all of it is black. I mean, shit, I think the warlocks are just using super black and all of it. I mean, the hunters is a little bit more varied. I think the Titans is using just one shader as well, but the hunters definitely is the most varied one, which I will explain why in a bit, because theirs is very unfortunate. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. I also have to mention the fact that this ornament was available. I say was because uh, I should be posting this after the reset is over. So yeah, this ornament's gone. I don't know if they're going to resell it again. I hope they do because I love this ornament. It's fucking awesome. But again, uh, if you guys aren't aware, I have a challenges slash Eververse slash 801 video that I post on Wednesdays. I have a last call video that I post on Sundays where we look at all of the stuff that's going away from the week. So if you guys don't know, I cover the vendors and what's going away and whatnot for the last call. And then for the Wednesday video, we look at all of that for the beginning of the week. So you really have no excuse, especially if you watch my content, you have no excuse of like, oh, I didn't know. Watch the content. I literally just go through everything that, so that way you guys are aware of what's going away or going up. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So to start off, here is the first set. So this one, obviously, I'm going to go for a tactical look for all of the sets, something that you can see that Guardian using the lost and or the lost found ornament. And this one is pretty cool, considering there is a few shader differences here and there. So first and foremost, we're going to be using the Europan Scout Visor for the Seracnids, whatever it's called. I forget the helmet's name. It's annoying, but I love this ornament. It's really, really cool. I just kind of wish it was in a better exotic. That being said, I know I'm going to get people like, what? The exotic's broken or it used to be. I don't know anymore. I don't use it a lot. But if you want to switch something out, you can you can definitely switch out the helmet for some other pieces. Specifically, you can switch it out for Knucklehead Radar. Knucklehead Radar is a good one to switch it out for because Knucklehead is actually really useful. Full Tracer is another good example. I just wanted to do the Europan Scout Weiser because... I really like it. I think it looks really, really cool. For the arms, Diamond's Born Grips. For the chest piece, Deep Explorer Vest. For the boots, Hardened Bassless Leg Guards. And then for the cloak, Psionic Stalker Cloak. So for the shadering, this is where it gets funny. So Oiled Gunmetal, specifically because I wanted that green um, glow that the Oiled Gunmetal shows. Nothing crazy, I just wanted that green glow. Because uh, it almost reminds me of like a night vision goggle. For the arms and the chest piece, Erebos Glance specifically because any other black shader, uh, you're going to fight the Diamond Sworn Grips a lot. And the Deep Explorer also has pieces that uh, differentiate shaders. For the boots, Abyssinian Gold is the easiest choice here because Erebos Glance gives you some oranges in there. I, didn't, I don't like to use super black because it's way too black uh, compared to other blacks. And then the Mad Monk uh, specifically because A... It gives you almost an all black look, turns off the glow for the cloak. The only issue is the fact that on the collarbone, you guys will see, not collarbone, but like the shoulder, yeah, shoulders, you guys will see that there's this metal plate. That is a different color. It's more like, it's more like a carbon fiber type of thing than black. So that's like the only issue I would see here. But other than that, I think this like looks really, really cool, especially for a tactical set. So if you were using Kvostov or specifically the lost found ornament, this one would be the set that I would go for. Hunters, let me know what you guys think. As for the Titans, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had a lot of trouble with this one, specifically because of the shadering. So to start off, we're going to be using the Wildwood Helm. For the arms, we're going to be using the Playlist Armor. If you guys don't know, I've already made a video for that set. You guys can check it out right here. But we're going to be using the Vanguard variant because that's the best one. Has no stupid decal. For the chest piece, we're going to be using the Grand's Vicksburg Ornament for the Actium War Rig. And then for the boots, Wildhood Greaves, and then Cogborn Custom Mark for the mark. So I have used these pieces in some 
past videos specifically i think wildwood greaves with the tm cogborn custom i think i've used that combo before um i like this one quite a bit just because there is a lot of tactical pieces in this the chess piece is the biggest thing not only is the chess piece being super tactical but it also is good because kavastov is an auto rifle this chess piece is literally for auto rifles and lmgs um i like the the helmet because the helmet gives that juggernaut vibe and then the wildwood greaves i like it as well because it does have like that net in there that has stuff in there and then uh the tm custom uh or the tm cogburn custom specifically because the back has a lot of pouches and whatnot so yeah i like this one a lot um for the shader and oiled gunmetal is what we're using specifically because the chest piece is really annoying to shader like it has a very terrible discoloration sometimes got oiled gunmetal kind of takes that away and it looks really really cool that being said it's not like a super black it's more not even like a black it's more just like a really dark gray which is fine um because if i tried to do anything else it, it just looks weird i and again i wanted to avoid super black as much as possible so oil gun metal was the best one because it's not bad like it still looks really really good does it look b better than like if i had just used black no but at the same time it was really terrible like some of the color combinations that i was getting with the chess piece with other blacks so that's why i was like fuck it i'm just gonna stay away from super black and i'll just do with oiled gun metal because i actually do like the shader anyways so titans let me know what you guys think about this one and last but not least warlock so i have made this set technically i think the only piece that i'm using that's different is the forbidden facade gloves so like you definitely could just switch those out for something else if you want to um so we're using super black for this one and specifically because this one when it comes to shadering is everywhere like there's a lot of pieces that takes different colors and unfortunately super black is the only one that just has everything just pure black which is very unfortunate because i as much as i do like super black i think I've, i'm a little more mature than i used to be where i just slapped super black back in d1 and just called it a day um again this is more thematic we're doing something for a tactical set that obviously i think black would just be way better because if you're going in night black is just the best thing now there's comparisons to like well what's wearing a color to a person that can just turn invisible that's fair but i still want to at least be somewhat tactical and i think black like once you're out of invisibility if you're wearing like super bright colors it's just stupid so yeah as much as i hate it super black was just a better choice because the other shaders that are black just clashed way too hard and again i didn't want to ha have any other color aside from either black or gray and a lot of the colors were just like it either has another color like specifically like specifically Erebos glance has that orange the uh Abyssinian gold has that brown that i really don't like oiled gunmetal i think in this armor spe set specifically had like a weird white mad monk also has that like carbon fiber which if if i'm being honest i wouldn't mind but it also has browns which is not what something i wanted so yeah super black just want out for the pieces this is the cinder pinion cover the deep explorer vestments the the reign of fire exotic and then the interlace bond for the bond so yeah i've made this set before i actually don't think it's terrible i, I really do like it i would definitely switch out the shader super black is not my feel i would definitely go for something that has either camo or goes well with a war like this type of thing um if you really wanted to you could definitely go for some shaders from like the foundries that would be really cool but just be aware that the reign of fire has camo on the actual pants so you're just gonna have to work around that or you can ignore it if you want i actually don't really care because it does look really cool that being said i really do hope warlocks get more tactical pieces because you guys really don't have a lot of tactical pieces like i think the deep explorer vestments is really the only true tactical piece you guys have i mean you guys have the one from the dungeon um where it's like a snowy tactical but it's not like just tactical it's a snow like environment tactical set like you guys don't have a lot of tactical sets which is very unfortunate but i did try my best hopefully you guys liked it the funny thing is and i explained this in another video the interlace bond i ended up using that one because it kind of looks like a uh, like a bulletproof like a uh, glass thing so that's why or like a plexiglass type of thing which is why i love combining it with it because it just looks like that so yeah let me know what you guys think i wanted to make this video because i do think the art ornament is super cool i really really like it granted a lot of people are gonna be like it's boring it's just a basic bitch gun but 
you got to remember I'm a Metal Gear fan and a lot anything that looks tactical I'm just a big fan of because uh, that game pretty much just threw that shit at me like specifically Metal Gear 3, Metal Gear 4, a lot of the, all, the other Metal Gears specifically like Metal Gear 5 or Paint, Phantom Pain like a lot of that stuff so tag when it comes to tactical things I just gush hard so let me know what you guys think I appreciate y'all coming to this point remember I have a lot of content that I'm quote currently going through it's crazy we're gonna be talking about the twabs that the bungee released because i think it's wild some of the stuff that we're talking about i was just like that's a lot of big promises dog we're gonna talk about that uh, we're gonna be talking about the 10th anniversary and kind of how i'm disappointed with it considering it's kind of uh, lackluster to be fair we are getting icebreaker we did get an armor set and we did get a title but i feel like for 10 years i feel like we should like either bring something from D1 back, like like an actual activity or an area, like something big and just like a weapon from D1, some armor that was like not even in D1. It was a, uh, it was concept art, and a and a title. I was just like ah, I was expecting a little more. Hope. Like honestly, it's my fault for expecting that much, but needless to say i was just a little disappointed but let me know what you guys think about the anniversary let me know what you guys think in general about all the content i'm going to be posting because again we're going to be going through a bunch of destiny 2 content i'm working through some space marine content space marine 2 specifically and i'm working towards the final fantasy 14 videos as well and then after that i'm probably going to start start doing a bunch of other stuff not only that but i also am posting the space marine 2 campaign on my second channel which i actually should post that by tomorrow hopefully but yeah i'm still trying to do as much as i can with the little time that i have but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe hopefully.